We're back on this Friday Friday with more of today and the real moms who are keeping it real when it comes to parents' take on the latest family films to hit the big screen. Mother of three, Tara McNamara co-hosts Mom's Movie Minute on Fandango, Fandango, which is part of the NBC Universal family. Suzanne Rust is a mom of two and lifestyle editor at Family Circle Magazine. And Liz Stern is the CEO of DivaMoms.com and she's in charge of three little ones at home. <laughs> hey, ladies. Hi. Good to see you all. All right, Maleficent, tell us, yay or nay? Uh, yay, okay. 100% great mother-daughter movie. It's PG. It actually came out last week, right. um, which means the crowds will be down. Uh -huh. it's, it's the Sleeping Beauty story, but told from the villain's point of view, beautifully played by Angelina Jolie. But here's the thing I want to tell you. My daughter, who's 13, and I, there's so many great subjects that come out of this about, like, uh, 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 you know, just about, like, different kinds of love uh -huh. and redemption and, and how people turn bad. Mm -hmm. My daughter and I spoke for an hour after the movie ended. That's and so, great. Yeah. How old did Anything you say that she starts was? a dialogue 13. with your 13-year-old? Yeah. <laughs> you got six and seven-year-olds? No, no, no. no you I'll do. You have six and seven. Year olds, right? I have a six and a ten year olds and a baby. Yeah. How about them for that movie? For they the movie? loved it. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was a little worried about taking the six year old, but he yeah. walked out of there and he's like, Mom, that was so cool. And I loved the 3D. It was action packed and she looked beautiful. And this oh, I didn't I realize it's 3D. You, you oh. can go in 3D too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, what did the kids you saw? They loved it. They loved yeah. it. I did query the little kids because I thought maybe she was a little scary with the horns and yeah. the cape. They're Dragons. Like, I loved it. No, no, no. All right, so here's the big one The Fault in Our Stars. Bring tissues. Everybody's saying this is going to be a home run. Is that what you guys think? Yes. Yeah. Well, first you should know that this is Fandango's best-selling romantic drama of all time in their history. So Pre-sales. Pre-sales. Yeah. Of all so time. So I think wow. that, that indicates it's going to be big. It's not just teen girls. Moms are enjoying Everybody. this story. And the novel has Everybody. such yeah. huge success. Oh, it's one of my favorite it's beautiful. Books. You all, yeah. all three yeah. of you. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Is it for what age do you think? I think, you know, the kids are reading it. I mean, yeah. it says PG-13. There is there's some intimacy. There's death. I mean, there, there are major beautiful. issues. But right. I think a sophisticated 12-year-old who's read the book can deal with it. Yeah. I wasn't uncomfortable seeing it with my yeah. daughter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it's just such a beautiful, beautiful story, and I think that the young teens of today really should go and see this movie for yeah. so many different reasons. Mm -hmm. It really is just so, it's a passionate, it's really Very a much. love story. Yeah, love, and, loss, and, you know, acceptance. And basically yeah. life. Yes. And real life. life. Real life. Not right. just and the author of this oh, book is for, just, everyone's he's like, adorable. Adorable. He was here with the he's And the adult. love connection, actually, between the two stars is just so beautiful, too. Really, really great, great chemistry. chemistry. All right, let's talk about The Edge of Tomorrow. <laughs> Tom, Tom Cruise's movie. But it's, I, I saw the reviews in there, like, really, really oh, excellent it's reviews. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's amazing. It's PG-13, uh -huh. so this is counter-programming to The Fault in Our Stars, which is for teen girls. This is for teen boys. Okay. Um, and it's basically like a video game come to life. Groundhog uh, Day. Yeah. Groundhog, Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Groundhog you have this soldier who dies on the battlefield, yeah. only to find that he's in a time loop and has to relive the same day. And so it's actually like a video game from our generation, mm -hmm. where when yeah. he dies, he has to start over at the beginning, yeah, right, yeah. put your quarter yeah. in, and use the lessons you learn to get farther in the game. And what he's still so handsome. He is handsome. handsome. What, for the big what screen. do you think about, yeah. what, what would you tell parents, well, Suzanne, you know, about it is, this? It's, it's for the video game generation, they're kind of used to this mm -hmm. this kind of scenarios, but I think, you know, not anyone younger than 11, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. Violence. Violence. Yeah. Violence. There's yeah. violence, there's loud noises, you And know, I, think, I think you can go into it with your teen or tween right. talking about it, just letting them know ahead of time there will be a little bit of violence, or a lot of violence, actually, and just preparing you for it. Yeah. A gamer. Yeah. They're solid. Okay, real quick, yeah. just thumbs up, thumbs down on how to train your dragon. Double too. thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Awesome. The first one was adorable. I didn't expect yeah. to like it. Yeah. Just it's beautiful, great yeah. female character. Yeah. 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 All right, All right ladies, first. we have to leave a little time for Steve Greenberg. <laughs> All okay. right. <laughs> Toss the time. We're going to show you some great gifts for, for Father's Day. And it's the time to separate facts from myths when it comes to your beauty routine coming up right after this. Sounds like We're a game. We're going to have a smackdown. I like games.